find the mean, median, and mode of the data set. When you have a small data set, such as this first one where you only have five entries, you'll want to write those in order from smallest to largest. Okay, so we have a couple of twos, a three, an eight, and a nine. The mean is the sum of all your entries divided by how many there are. Okay, so let's add these up. If you get a grand total, we have 11, 19, 21, and 24 over five. Okay, so it's the sum of all your data divided by how many there are. All right, so 24 divided by five that's 4.8. The median, if your data is ordered smallest to largest, and you have an odd number of entries, then the value right in the middle is your median. Okay, so mean is the average, median is the middle value if they are ordered. Now, if you have an even number of entries, it'll be the average of the two in the middle. Mode, if there's a particular data entry that shows up more often than the others, then you have a mode. And so for this data set, the mode is two. Okay. So those are the mechanics for mean, median, and mode. How hot does it get in Death Valley? The following data are taken from a study conducted by the National Park System, of which Death Valley is a unit. The ground temperatures in Fahrenheit were taken from May to November in the vicinity of Furnace Creek. Compute the mean, median, and mode for these ground temperatures. Round your mean to four decimal places. Now this one we have, it looks like 14 data entries. So our median is gonna be a little more challenging to find. Let's investigate um, our mean first. Now there's gonna be a follow-up video that I do to show you how to use the statistical analysis tool on WebAssign. It's called SALT. Um, and that will be a video that follows this one. This one's sort of a, how to power through it by hand and using a calculator. All right, so let's, um, let's go after the mean. It'll be the sum of all these values divided by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. All right, I'm going to pause the video and get a grand total. Okay, so I didn't want you to have to suffer through all those button pushes. I've got a total of 2,368 for the sum of all 14 temperature readings. 
divided by 14. I have 169.1429. Now I only round it out because in the parentheses we're asked to round to four decimal places. Let's do the mode next. Let's see if we can spot any value that shows up more than the others. At a first glance, it appears that 181 is the one that shows up the most frequently All right, I see 181 show up one, two, three times. 169 shows up twice. One fifty one shows up twice. But I think one eighty one shows up the most often. Okay. Now when your data, data set starts getting larger in number, like the first example, we only had five numbers. It's real quick to order those smallest to largest. What I like to do is, when it comes to median, is, if you have a large data set, or large enough where you don't want to rewrite it and reorder it, I, what I do is I start knocking off the smallest and largest values. For example, um, I see a 144. That's the lowest. The highest appears to be 188. Then you go back to the lowest, and what you'll do is seesaw back and forth. Ooh, I missed a 142. Um, so I've got two of the smallest knocked off. Now I've got two of the highest. Now let's go back to the smallest. Highest. Smallest. highest, but notice only knock off one from bottom and then top, highest and lowest, uh, lowest, highest, lowest, highest. Now if there were an odd number of entries, we would only have one number left, but we don't. We have two left over. When there are an even number of data points and you're asked to calculate median, you will average the two in the middle. So 169 plus 175 divided by two. 169 plus 175 equals 344. Divided by 2 is 172. And that will be our median. So be very careful there. I'm going to take off all these marks from the table. There we go. And in our last example, in your biology class, your final grade is based on several things. A lab score, scores on two major tests, and your score on the final exam. There are 100 points available for each score. 
However, the lab score is worth 17% of your total grade. Each major test is worth 22%, and the final exam is worth 39%. <clears throat> Compute the weighted average for the following scores. Okay, so we've got 86 on the lab. times its weight as a decimal ninety six on the first major test times its weight as a decimal plus 96, no, excuse me, I already did that one, 62 on the second major test. That one's also weighted at 22%. And then finally, 82 on the final exam. The final is worth 39%. Let's make sure that the percentages for each category adds up to 100. If it does not, then we're going to have to divide by whatever the total is for those four percentages given. 0.17 plus 0.22 plus 0.22 plus 0.39. That does, in fact, add up to 1. So if you add up all four of the decimals in parentheses, the grand total is 1, representing 100% 100 of your grade. So now, let's carry out the multiplication. All right. 96 times 0.22, 62 times 0.22, and then finally 82 times 0.39. The grand total for these numbers, 14.62, 21.12, it's a rush album, isn't it? Plus 1364, plus 31.98, I get 81.36. And that would be your weighted average.